Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. So it seems like Michael Jordan's bag boy continues to talk trash. Look, Charles Oakley. You were nothing but Michael Jordan's bag boy and bodyguard. You went to the Knicks. You were out there. You didn't really do anything. You were just an enforcer, a guy who cheap shotted guys and beat guys up. Because you didn't have a consistent game. Who are you better than? You weren't better than Mahorn. You weren't better than Mason. You weren't better than Sean Kemp. You used to hate on Charles Barkley because him and Mike were cool. You're the only one who wants to be Mike friend. Well, besides Charles. <clears throat> you always talking trash about Isaiah, bro. Michael Jordan knows what he did. Michael can speak for himself. Why are you and the rest of these bums out here trying to speak for Mike? If Mike want to say something to Isaiah, tell him to man up and come speak to him one on one and publicly apologize to him. But he's not going to do that because Mike, just like a female, he does a lot of his moves behind closed doors. He don't do what men do, which is come to you directly and handle it. Then you want to send people behind closed doors to apologize to Isaiah. Now you're sending your bag boy out there to talk. And people people are seeing it and they're laughing at it because, see, this ain't like the old days where you were hidden. You were hidden by the league. You were hidden by the newspaper writers, beat writers, you know. You were hidden. So you didn't really have to say anything. You ain't nothing but a con man. Everybody talk about, ooh, he went off on that game. Jeff Van Gundy called him that because Jeff Van Gundy was right. You a con man. You ain't no nice person. You a piece of crap. That's what you are. And you got this old washed up chump out here talking. And everybody like, man, Oak is this tough. Oak is, man, Oak ain't no dang tough. Oak used to punk people he knew he could punk. What'd he do against the Pistons? Whenever he got in a fight with the Pistons, Mahorn put you in your place every time. Why did the Bulls let you go? Why weren't you on them teams with Michael Jordan to win championships, huh, Charles? <clears throat> How about you tell the real reason? Because you kept getting your ass cooked. You were one of the reasons why the Bulls weren't winning. And then you took that loser mentality over there to the um, New York Knicks. All you do is send shots and talk for a man who is supposedly the greatest of all time, but can't be a man to come apologize. Then going to say, well, yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, you know, he's um, he's the second greatest point guard ever. You know, but he's an a-hole. Why Then why would you have an a-hole come on your show? Why would you have an a-hole come and do the last dance with you, huh? Because you a chump. You a coward. You always were a coward. That time you hated on Kobe, he stole all my moves. Kobe had to check you. And Kobe had to tell you, remember who you talking to. He had to let you know. You have to let you know, because you ain't nothing but a hater. You've been a hater your whole career. You hated on Allen Iverson. You still bring up that damn crossover when he crossed your ass out your shoes damn near. You still cry about that. Well, if you were a fan of me, why you cross me? All in your feelings. They ain't going to talk about it was me, the reason why Isaiah 
<clears throat> wasn't on the dream team. We know it because of you, you little chump. You put your little you put your little boyfriend on the team, Scotty Simpin, with his soft behind. I don't even know how everybody praised that dude. He's so soft. I told y'all I don't remember no Scotty Pippen. All I remember him doing was playing some defense, running up court, getting Michael the ball. Or getting Horace Grant the ball. Because he ain't had the balls to shoot the shot and make the shot. He always has somebody to bail his big nose ass out. But we're going to get back to him. Let's talk about you, Charles Oakley. What did you do in the finals? What shots, what big shots did you hit? If it wasn't for Patrick Ewing and John Starks, your New York Knicks wouldn't have been nothing. All y'all were, were a generic version of the Pistons. That's all. Generic version of the Pistons and the Philadelphia 76ers. Philadelphia 76ers used to do the same thing. But you know why y'all weren't successful? Because your bum behind one as good as no damn Moses Malone. You weren't good as Bill Lambeer or Rick Mahorn. You weren't good as Kevin McHale or Robert Parrish. You were a chump. You always pick on you always pick on the little chums. But you talking all that cash. Just like Isaiah Thomas said, um, what is your record against me? Remember, you were getting your butt kicked on them Bulls teams that were playing against Isaiah. Remember, you used to lose all the time to the Pistons. So what are you talking about? Isaiah don't want to be no damn Michael friend. Isaiah just said, look, if you meant what you meant, keep it moving. But if you're going to call me an a-hole and then try to apologize behind closed doors, no. Apologize to me on the platform just like you call me an a-hole on the platform. That's all Isaiah Thomas ever said. Isaiah Thomas is sick and tired of all of you stick riders of Michael Jordan. It's a lot of y'all on YouTube. Y'all love following Michael. Michael Jordan is a scumbag. He was mad at the Pistons because they was beating him all the time. It ain't had nothing to do with that damn handshake. It had a whole lot to him getting his butt kicked. He wanted Isaiah Thomas to grovel and kiss his butt. Isaiah Thomas ain't doing it. Mike mad because he know in the record books Isaiah used to beat him, Magic, and Bird. He used to beat y'all all the time. So what are you upset about? You the only one who hold a grudge. Your bum behind is out here letting your son sleep with a woman who used to see him in diapers. <laughs> You're letting your son do that to Scotty Simpin, who supposedly was your ex-teammate. And you cool with it. Walking around cool with it. Your son looking like an idiot and Lars are even looking dumber. But let's talk about you, Charles Oakley. What do you have going for yourself besides picking up Mike's bags? What you got going for yourself? Besides being Mike's bag boy, Mike's mouthpiece. Because that's all you're doing is speaking, but is speaking what Mike telling you to say. used to hate on Charles Barkley all the time because you weren't on that level. And Charles Barkley used to let you know about it. Every time y'all played, Charles used to bust your butt and you used to be mad wanting to fight because you was mad because Charles used to roast your ass to sleep. You was never on that level, bruh. You weren't even a third option on the team. You was nothing but an enforcer. They brought you on there to be the muscle just to keep people off of Pat. But if it weren't for Pat Ewing, if it weren't for Michael Jordan, if it weren't for John Starks, man, they don't nobody care about you. And you got the nerve to speak on Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is a top 50 player. Probably the greatest, if not <laughs> top five, probably top 10 at worst. Players to ever play the game, revolutionized the game, was the first guard to win championships. 
a, a guard led team to win the championship. Then it was Michael Jordan. What did you lead? Oh, I know what you did. You led them bags right to Michael Jordan room. You know, you know, you know if you ain't had them bags, Charles. Michael Jeffrey Jordan would have checked you. <laughs> and you don't want to bite that hand. You don't want to be in that bad place because you ain't definitely ain't going to be nobody. The only reason he keep you around is because Mike feels sorry for your bum behind because you ain't never had a career. Ain't never had no career. Talking all that cash. Going to go on all the smoke right after he went on there and they going to try to talk trash. Like, dude, don't nobody care about you, bro. The only people who know about you is because you used to fight. But see, when he fought somebody, y'all glorify it. The Pistons do it. They're the villains. Told you, man, this society's stupid. This society is stupid. I can't stand Charles Oakley. I couldn't stand his bum ass then. I can't stand him now. I get mad when Nick fans try to bring Oakley up. I be like, man, shut y'all ass up. What Oakley did? Did y'all win? In the clutch. Did he come up big in the clutch? No, he too busy trying to fight. Talking about he a rebounder. What he rebound? <laughs> Tell him, man. So sick and tired of these chumps. On the show with two other chumps. Well, I give Steve Jackson credit. He can actually play. But you and that light-skinned bastard next to you. Please. Please. Y'all were over-glorified. Crazy, man. Tell you. Keep telling you, man. I don't even care about these cats, man. These cats, man. Tell you. These cats, man. All they do is run their damn mouth. <laughs> Acting like he was somebody. <laughs> you want none but Michael Jordan bag boy. Then people going to try to stick up for you. For what? You ain't do nothing. But you got the nerve to speak on guys like Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> And you got clowns on YouTube catering to this crap. I'm like, man, I swear. When has it been cool to let role players and chumps be able to talk? When? You ain't do none on that court. Who you led? What big shots you hit? That's all he did. But see, this is the problem. Y'all over glorify this dude. This is why this dude feel like he can say whatever he want. You see, the problem is The problem is Charles Oakley got too much of Michael Jordan on his breath. You know what I'm saying? Because he been on his knees so long. And then you got Steven Jackson over there. <laughs> I'm like, man, if you don't shut your weed head ass up. It's always them dude. You got beat up by a dude with one arm. 
You got beat up by a dude with bait with a baby arm, bro. Stop playing. You over here trying to laugh. I don't know what you laughing for. Nobody would have known you if it weren't for the Spurs system. Now you played everywhere else you went. Wherever wherever else you went, you did your thing. But see, that's just that's just fake to me, man. Dudes like that is fake. And I wouldn't be surprised if they ain't set that up. What we're going to have is, you know, Matt, we're going to have, you know what, Matt, what we're going to do is, man, we're going to get Zeke on here. Once we get Zeke on here, then we're going to get Michael Jordan's guy, Oak, on here. We're going to have Oak say some jokes. And, you know, Matt, he can't do nothing but slap a chick or choke a chick. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Looking like a looking like a damn scumbag. Looking exactly like a rat. Oh, light ass bastard. I could I knew it was the reason why I couldn't stand that dude. Telling you, man. We got to get rid of all this fake. All these fake dudes out here getting all this love. telling you man they get these bag boys shows you got kendrick perkins doing a show he the ultimate bag boy Tell me. Tell me it's a trip, man. But Oakley ain't say nothing. He said the same thing on another show like a long time ago. He said something like that on another show. Nobody don't give a damn about what Oak got to say. It's the same dude who got traded away. Why did they trade you away, Oak? They traded you away because you were too busy acting like an idiot, being non-coachable, over there playing with Mike all the time, kiki and laughing and joking. That's why they got rid of you. And you would get cooked in the playoff games. You used to get out rebounded. You used to get pushed around for the boards. You couldn't guard nobody. They used to score on you. Lambeer used to take you to school. Mikhail. All of these guys used to take you to school. But yet, y'all talk about this overrated, bad carrying bum. He was a bum. He was a bum when he played. He a bum now. And then all y'all do is just crowd over, man, Charles Oakley, man, Charles Oakley. I'm like, bro, all he did was be an enforcer. He's not a Hall of Famer, never was Hall of Very Good. He ain't nothing. Y'all guys wouldn't have known him if it wasn't for Michael Jordan, Pat Riley, or Patrick Ewing. Y'all wouldn't have known this clown. And you got New York Knicks. This is why New York Knicks franchise and they fans are dumb. They celebrate these chumps. They celebrate Charles Oakley like he did something for the Knicks. I'm like, dude, 
if it wasn't for Xavier and Mason and 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 Buck Will, I think it was Buck Williams or whatever Williams it was, and and John Starks, man, nobody would have cared about this clown. He irrelevant, just like Greg Anthony. <laughs> They always bring, that's what's wrong with the New York Knicks. That's why they continuously lose. They over glorify not real role players. That's what he was. Tired of these dudes, man. Get Michael Jordan off your breath. And let him speak for himself. God, dog. Thank y'all for listening, man. I'm out. Deezy.